Okay, I'm not going to beat about the bush. I've got another one of these My Retro Game Box boxes and I'm going to open it. Um, aye, it was a wee bit late this month. It was supposed to come at the end of August and it didn't. It came about three days ago. The boxes seem a lot longer now. Um, like, it used to maybe be about like, there. Um, I'm not going to take long doing this at all. It's just going to be open the box, hurrah, I've got loads of new games, and then that's it. Um, anyway, so I've already pre cut the tape, so we're going to have a little look inside and see what we got this month. Um, you can go and watch my other videos if you don't know what this is, but the best way to quickly describe it on the fly is it's like Grey's box, apart from instead of a bunch of hamster food, you get loads of games that are about 20 year old. I pre-cut the tape so I didn't have to fumble about on camera because I'm clever. Right, I'm going to open it like this. And the reason I'm going to open it like this is so that I can give myself some sort of surprise. I probably will pick it up or chew. Right, <laughs> Lemmings for the, the Mega Drive. As you can see there, that, that's Lemmings for the Mega Drive. Um, Aye, cool, I'll play that. Um, for some reason I always recall Lemmings being big on the PC. I can't actually remember call it being big on any consoles, but hey ho, we'll give that a wee shot. Got uh, Donald Duck Quack Attack for the for the Game Boy Colour. Yeah, that'll do, yeah. And what else have we got? I'm just gonna have to flick inside the box. You've got to be shitting me. <laughs> Mario Kart 64 and I've not it's Jeez oh man. Like this game itself is worth about 40 quid on eBay, 40 pounds. It's it's not a cheap game. Look at this, it's got the registration card. Wow, that's that, that's that's phenomenal man. Like, look at the game, obviously. Imagine didn't have the game. I'm a wee bit I'm a wee bit shocked, I'm a bit taken back, so that's the thing about um my retro game box. See, they're not a huge company like Loot Crate or anything like that. They're um, they're just like a, a couple, a man and a wife. Um, they both do it from the house. Um, they both run it. They both pack the boxes themselves and pick the games out for people themselves. So it, it's a lot of work. Um, I mean, it takes a lot of time. I'd imagine. But basically, what I'm trying to say is that the resellers on eBay who sell things for about. I don't know, triple the amount that they're actually worth, or triple the amount that anyone would want to pay for an old game. Um, these services like My Retro Game Box, they basically break down those those walls that have been constructed on eBay where if you want a copy of say Mario Kart 64, you need to pay £40 and it's things like this that help that disappear because no one wants to pay what, £40-£50 for an old game that really shouldn't cost that much because it didn't even cost that much when it was out. You're lucky if it did cost £40 when it was out, you know? So this service really helps destroy that overinflation of prices in the virtual gaming market. And it's something I really appreciate, honestly. It's something that I think is brilliant. Um, so I really hope that my retro game box keep doing this and keep doing it well. Yeah, so this was supposed to be just a quick video today, just to get the unboxing of that out of the way before I end up forgetting and then just take a picture and put it on Instagram. I like to unbox them. Um, I like to show my appreciation for the service. Um, I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just really like the service and like doing the unboxing videos. And if I got a shit box, then I would say, like, but that, that wasn't a shit box. That was far from a shit box. Um, yeah, so just to recap what I got, of course I got Mario Kart 64, which is just legendary. Um, I got Donald Duck Quack Attack for the, <laughs> the Game Boy Color, which, fair enough, it's probably quite good. I've only ever played the console version, I think, but give it a wee shot. And I got Lemmings, which the more I think about it, um, I'm actually quite excited to play that one. Um, just because it's been years since I've touched a Lemmings game and I'm not sure how it'll handle on a Mega Drive and it, it's interesting to me, you know. Um, but So that was another My Retro Game Box. Um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do. Um, I appreciate all the sort of comments and the, the chit chat that goes on below the video. Um, that's what I like most about YouTube, if I'm completely honest. Um, I'm going to have some more videos up soon. Um, some reviews, some gameplay, some just mucking around basically, but um, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you again soon.